Okay guys, welcome to video number three on adding fractions and this is going to be a practice um, so that you can have somebody walk along with you because it's a lot, I think it's a lot better when you're learning fractions to have someone that says, you know, when you're working alone you can't figure it out. But anyways, I hope to do a video number four. It depends on who's subscribing and who comments. So subscribe and comment guys if, you, if this helps you. Anyways, we learned that when we add and subtract fractions, the main rule we want to know is that we have to find the least common denominator. Okay? So we have to find this bottom number right here. You know, something that they both go into in the smallest number. You can multiply these two numbers, the bottom numbers, the denominators, and, and find something they both go into, but you're going to end up having to reduce and have a really big and a difficult problem. You know, as long as you know your multiplication is easier. So, but if you do get lost, you can do that and reduce down. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to find the least common denominator and let's get started. Anyways, um, I went ahead and did the equal signs here. And I'm going to go ahead and put my fraction signs here because we know that under these, underneath these signs, we're going to have to put our least common denominator that both of these go into. Anyways, um, I'm going to start off saying, can 4 go in itself? And it can one time, of course. And can 4 go into 8? And it can. It can go twice. So we automatically found out that 8, okay, is the number that they both can go into them. Okay, 8 cannot go into 4, but it can go into itself, and 4 can go into 8. So 8 is our common denominator. Next, we're going to make sure that we put a division sign on the bottom, a multiply at top, division sign on the bottom, multiply at top, and this helps you remember the rules of filling in your numerator. It's very simple. So now all we have to do is read it. 8 divides into 8 how many times? One time. And 1 times 1 equals 1. See, it was very simple. All we have to do is read it. So 4 divides into 8 how many times? And then it would be 2 times. And 4 times 2 is 8. We're going to make sure we have our plus sign and we're going to extend this. And what we do need to remember at added and subtracting on our denominators, our bottom numbers of the fraction. All we have to do is carry it down once we found the common denominator and add the numerators. 8 plus 1 equals 9. And we're done. It was that easy. This is an improper fraction. Now, I, I know you're going, oh my God, don't throw this at me. But I just want to go over it. Don't worry about it right now. We're going to leave it as is for right now, and I'll teach you that later. Um, if the numerator is bigger than a denominator, that's an improper fraction, and I will teach you how to do that later. So, and we're going to go to here and start here, and it's 5 over 12 plus 3 over 4. Again, I already have my equal signs. I'm going to go ahead and put my fraction signs. Anyways, uh, can 12 go into 12? Yeah, I can go into it oneself. Can 12 go into 4? No, absolutely not. So I'm going to try 4. Can 4 go into 4? Yes. Can 4 go into 12? It can, and it can go three times. So we know that 12 is going to be our common denominator. So we write that under both fractions, and then we're going to do that little trick I showed you where we put the divide on the on denominator and the multiply on top, so all we have to do is read the problem. We don't get frustrated and get confused. It reminds us. 4 goes into 12 how many times? And that's three times. 3 times 3 is 9, going across. 12 divides into 12 how many times? One time we carry it up top, multiply, that's what it says to do. 5 times 1 equals 5. Make sure we bring our plus sign instead of this sign. Anyways, we can bring down our denominator. Why? Because we do not have to add that. It stays the same. All we have to do is add our numerators. And that's going to be 13. And again, we have an improper fraction because 13 is bigger than 12. But we're going to leave it as it is. And it's that simple, guys. And I'll try to get some more practice problems. Hope that helped you guys out. Don't forget, subscribe.